ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ರಾಮಾಯ ರಾಮಭದ್ರಾಯ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರಾಯ ವೇಧಸೆ ರಘುನಾಥಾಯ ನಾಥಾಯ ಸೀತಾಯ ಪತಯೇ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಟು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಮಲಕಾಂಡ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ದಟ್ ರಾಮ ಅಪ್ರೋಚಿಂಗ್ ದ ಜನಕ ಮಿಥಿಲಾಪುರಿ ಆಫ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಜನಕ he saw on the way a deserted ashrama of maharshi gautama and vishwamitra narrated him the story of how ahalya and gautama were cheated by indra and then gautama cursed both indra and ahalya and ahalya was spending thousand years there in the penance and finally rama entered into her hermitage and was blessed by ra blessed by rama she became she returned to her normal life and once again gautama received her back as his wife and they continued to live happily and then in the meantime along with vishwamitra rama and lakshmana they came to the mithilapuri of king janaka preceded by shri vishwamitra shri rama and shri lakshmana came to the king's pal place of sacrifice beholding the sacrificial pavilion they said to the holy sage how well has the great janaka prepared for the sacrifice o august rishi thousands of brahmins learned in vedas from many lands with hundreds of bullock carts transporting their possessions can be seen here o holy father let us choose a place where you may rest for a while the sage thereupon selected a place which was secluded and supplied with water hearing of the arrival of shri vishwamitra king janaka accompanied by his illustrious priest shri satananda and many others hastened to that place and humbly offered obeisance to the holy sage then the king placed the traditional gifts of water sweetened with honey before him and he accepting the gifts inquired as to king's welfare and further whether the sacrifice was proceeding without hindrance he then duly inquired concerning the welfare of shri satananda and other holy men in attendance on their sovereign the king received all with a cheerful countenance and with joint palms he said to shri vishwamitra o august lord please be seated with me with the other great sages thus requested they sat down after which janaka with his family priests brahmins and counselors occupied their places at the king seated in the midst of his ministers having attended to the due placing of his guests the illustrious sovereign said o lord today by the grace of god all the preparations for the sacrifice have been carried out now by your advent here i have acquired the merit equal to the fruit of my sacrifice best am i that you have honored the place of sacrifice with your presence o divine sage the high priests have informed me that the sacrifice will be completed in the course of next 12 days the gods will then come to take their share you o illustrious lord shall behold them having thus addressed the sage the king again earnestly inquired of him saying may prosperity attend you o sage who are these two illustrious princes equaling the gods in power those bearing resembles the majesty of an elephant or a lion who are valiant and whose eyes are like lotuses who are armed with swords bows and quivers and who whose beauty rivals the ashwini kumara who are youthful and appear to have descended from heaven to earth like the gods they come here on foot whose sons are they they whose eyes are wide set and who are armed with sacred weapons 
who wield their hair like Parthikeya and who captivate the hearts of men in, of hearts of men by their magnanimous and virtuous qualities surely they are come here to exalt our hearts and add to the fame of our dynasty adoring the earth as the sun or moon adorn the sky in stature and bearing resembling each other o great sage whose sons are the please tell me all hearing the words of king janaka shri vishwamitra said these are the sons of king dasharatha he then told the king of their residence in the siddhashrama and of the slaying of the demons of their visit to vishala and the rescue of ahalya also of their meeting with the sage gautama then he said now have we come to see the great bow which is available with king janaka having related all this to the king the great muni became silent thus ended chapter 50 of balakanda in ramayana so in this part of the story king janaka by the vishwamitra along with bama and lakshmana he visited king janaka we can see the way they were greeting each other that shows the highest civil sense that was existing in the bharata thousands of years back namaste sharada devi kashmir puravasini tvamaham prarthaye nityam vidyadanancha dehime bye